virtual conferences platform. And surprisingly, uh, I mean, um, for many conferences, uh, I've uh, seen many of my colleagues are complaining because they are not very happy with the quality, uh, with the sessions. But uh, Eurasia, I think, uh, made uh, a remarkable work uh, in basically transforming their, uh, you know, like uh, conference-based, uh, uh, con uh, you know, into an online virtual uh, conferences. And the quality that you had was still the same. The keynote that you brought was uh, very interesting. The way you manage the sessions, the participants, uh, overall was very good, actually. Um, so I have not only joined, uh, uh, enjoyed uh, uh, joining your conferences uh, during, uh, you know, uh, uh, before COVID, but I've also joined, uh, uh, enjoyed joining your conferences during uh, COVID. And I hope uh, we keep this relationship for as long as possible. Thank you. Thank you so much, Navid. My pleasure. And uh, what was uh, what made you continue with the research during the COVID times? Because ev yeah. everybody was like distressed during this time because of the pandemic. And I think everybody in the whole world, we were all, you know, in the same yeah. situation. That was like the first time that we all were in the same situation. Everybody was suffering because of the pandemic. So what That's made right. you to, you know, continue with the research that you were doing? That's right. Um, uh, as you mentioned, it's a global pandemic, it's a global struggle. And, uh, you know, it had its uh, down point. Uh, it hurts the economy, it hurts many jobs. There are definitely no uh, question about it that it has changed our lifestyle. But on the other hand, it also taught us a lesson that um, we have survived uh, as human, as a species, because we have been probably one of the most adaptable creatures. Yeah. We adopt and uh, our adaptability to various situations, whether from North Pole to South Pole, from West yeah. to East, we live everywhere and we change the environment to suit our need. Uh, so the adaptability we have, uh, it proven really lot about uh, uh, what I have been liking about uh, Eurasia conferences uh, since I, uh, you know, got involved with you guys. Uh, I think it was 2012, you know, many years ago. Yeah. Um, it, it's the, um, first of all, um, the way you engage everyone in conference is very interesting. You don't just let them come and present their topic and go. So in that sense, uh, you have a lot more to offer compared to many other conferences. And the second thing is you always uh, invite interesting keynote uh, speeches and topics uh, and uh, individuals who can actually uh, vibrant the environment of the conference. And uh, the third, uh, it comes in terms of management. It, the discipline you have is very good. The theme you choose is very good. Uh, and uh, the other side, what I really like about your conference, which I haven't seen in many other conferences, is that you even provide a scholarship for younger um, um, researchers to motivate them, also to give them a chance that perhaps they can like, take this opportunity and uh, save uh, you know, uh, that amount for something else, which is very nice. I, I really appreciate it. I hope more conferences follow your uh, module in that regard. Yeah. Thank you. In Eurasia, and I will recommend Eurasia in the future as well. I think the conferences you provide is very fruitful. And uh, I like the modules, themes that you bring in. Uh, like I said, I've joined different conferences. So um, the reason I have been associated with you for so long is actually because uh, it's always well managed and you have interesting discussions. So definitely, I will, I will introduce more colleagues and a student in the future to your issue as well.